two to three hundred ringgit per month. So for me, it seems quite costly. And that does not even include the costs of the actual materials, like for example, the mops, the buckets, the pails. And uh, with the mops, I find that after a few months, they, uh, they get so dirty and so gray, and uh, there's no way to really clean it. If I bleach it, or if I try to you know, clean it by hand, it just doesn't come out and it starts to smell funny. Same goes with all the other cloths that I've tried as well they end up becoming rags and then we have to end up throwing them away because they start smelling. There's no way around it. All right, so next. So why, why Norwex and what is the difference, right? Firstly, with our products, our microfibers are literally one to two hundredth, right? Each, each microfiber strand is one to two hundredth the size of one strand of human hair. That's how thin the microfibers are. And this allows it to remove up to 99% of uh, uh, bacteria, or oil and grease and dirt from most surfaces. And this is provided you give the cloth a proper clean, a proper care and maintenance, right? Because there's a difference between mechanical and chemical cleaning. This is all about mechanical cleaning. Uh, it absorbs up to seven times its own weight and it really loosens all the stubborn dirt and grime when you use, uh, for example, if you use our Enviro cloth, when you use it dry, right, it actually has a bit of static, we rub it together, it lifts up a lot of dust. And when you use it wet, it's able to clean up grease, right? And with our kitchen range, you can even pick up food debris with the weave. So these are some of the reasons that I have started using Norwex and I, can, I, I can't stop and I will never use any other brand. I'll give you a scenario, right? If I were to clean a cup of water with a chemical spray and then I immediately quick, give it a quick rinse and fill up with water, would you drink it immediately? Or if I clean it using a Norwex cloth, a Norwex product, just clean it with water and fill it with water, which one would you drink? Which one would you be most likely to drink? With chemical cleaning, you are able to remove dirt, bacteria, and grease. But have you ever thought about the chemicals that remain, the residues that remain, and these are actually inhaled by our bodies, are absorbed by our bodies, or when we touch it, our bloodstream actually absorbs it in less than 28 seconds, right? Scientifically proven. So this gives a lot of toxicity in our body burdens, and this gives a lot of toxicity. Uh, I mean, we're adults, but imagine the little ones, the kids, our pets, the, 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 the smaller beings, the loved ones that are in the house. So this is one of my reasons as well. So without further ado, let's start uh, talking about uh, the technology. So we have a trademark technology, which is called Backlock, right? Uh, it's basically a micro silver antibacterial agent that is embedded into our microfibers. Uh, most of our products have this Backlock, which in essence, um, it keeps the cloth fresh for much longer, right? I've got cloths that I've been using for almost a year, and I'm still using the same cloths, the same kitchen cloths, and there's no funny smell, there's no funky smell. Do bear in mind the Backlock does not remove bacteria and dirt and grease from the surface, but it actually helps the cloth to self-purify. So if you want to find out more, you know, ask myself or the consultant who invited you into this webinar session and they will explain everything to you. And this is one of the reasons why Norwex is one of a kind. This is uniquely to Norwex and our cloths can last very, very long because of this technology. So let's move on. Right, so. Kitchen picks. I'm going to turn off my camera so you get to see the full presentation. These are my picks for kitchen. All right. So as you can see over here, uh, we have the uh, on the far left the kitchen cloth or towel set. Notice that the weaves are different. It's got like sort of like a, a a few column weaves, right? It is such an amazing cloth. When I when I use it, right? Uh, when my kids eat food, rice, crumbs, biscuit crumbs, any large food particle or debris, just by using water, it picks it up. And on top of that, it also cleans the oil on the table as well. And on top of that, it removes up to 99% of bacteria as well. Right? And that's our kitchen cloth and towel. The kitchen cloth size is just perfect to clean the tabletop. Our kitchen towel is slightly larger and it's just amazing because it's so absorbent. You can use it to wipe your dishes, or if you have large spills, you can use that as well. And then another product that we have, which is just right above my chef's hat, that is our dish cloth. It looks like a net. So let me turn on my camera and show you what it looks like. 
So as you can see, oops, you can see my camera. This is what the dish cloth looks like. Literally just like a net. And this is the one that I use together with my dish washing liquid. And I have, I have no use for sponges anymore. Literally no use for sponges anymore. Uh, I've literally saved myself quite a bit of money from not buying a new sponge every week. And basically, uh, uh, this has literally changed the, the game in terms of cleaning my dishes. The netting is also very ideal and very, very good to safely scrub off uh, any food debris, burnt debris on your dishes, on your pots and pans, right? So I um, love using that. It's really amazing. Another thing that I also enjoy using, which is the right next to the dishcloth, is the Enviro Scrub. So the uh, Enviro Scrub comes in a set of three. It has, um, you can see, it's got two facades, right? It's got, it's got two sides. One side is similar to the Enviro cloth, and the other side is more of a scrubby part. I like using this because we do have nonstick or Teflon pots and pans, right, with the layers. So this is very safe to scrub it out. On top of that, did you also know that you can use the Enviro Scrub to clean toilets. So I actually have the bathroom mitts, but I find it a bit large and it's not very, how to say, it's not so versatile when you want to clean the nooks and crannies or the small little corners and in, in your underneath your faucet or your sinks and your basin, right? So the Enviro Scrub, because it's 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 a very nice hand size, hand held sort of size, perfect and so nimble and so versatile to clean and really scrub your toilet, right? If you want to scrub anything funny in your toilet bowl, that, that is the thing to, to try and use, right? And uh, last but not least, I also have this, uh, my one of my favorite pick is the Spiri sponge, right? It's the Spiri sponge, it looks like a, a silver uh, sponge. It's actually a bit more scrubby. I, I use this to even scrub, let's say when I cook a steak on my cast iron pan, I've got burnt on grease, burnt on pieces of meat, you know, just under running water, I use that and I scrub it out and literally removes it. And it is safe for non-stick pots and pans as well, but do do a spot test because some pots and pans may not have a very good quality non-stick layer and might, uh, you know, rub it off. So that, so these four are my kitchen picks and uh, I hope uh, you guys understand what I've uh, showed so far. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, next slide. All right, on my next slide, you can see general areas. So general areas uh, in, for me includes basically your living room, the bedrooms, and also the toilets, right? So over here, we have the dusting mitt. This is one of my favorites because I've got two of, I've got three of these, right? So what I do is, uh, you know, you can, you can just put them in your hands, give it a bit of a rub, use it, use it dry, give it a bit of a rub, charge it with a bit of static, and you can literally just walk around and just literally just wipe around gently and, and lift, it will lift dust up from your surfaces. If you've got, uh, if let's say you've got a display rack with a lot of uh, movable items, you can just pick it up and just rub it and that's it. And you know, the dust just sticks onto the dusting. It literally is like a magneto for dust, it's amazing. Another thing that I really like as well is this one, this one we call it the Enviro Wand, right? The Enviro Wand, amazing product because uh, first of all, it is a bendable stick. So let me show you on camera. All right, I hope you can see this. Yeah, so, you, so this is my Enviro one. You can see a nice color. This is a new one. It comes with the, when you unscrew it, this is the, the, the device where you can sort of clean your keyboard or window sills, you know, just uh, corners that are hard to reach. All right, just plug it back in and screw it. And it's bendable. Look, it is fully bendable. And you can remove this and actually pair it with our mops, with our telescopic mop handle. So you've got something that's really long and it reaches up to, including your own height, right? It's about 161 centimeters. So if let's say you are about uh, five to six, if you're a five to six footer, right? That is uh, about 12 to 13 feet of, of height to clean, right? Great, great to clean your fans, your ceilings, your lights without the need for using a ladder, right? Ladders uh, can be very dangerous. Another, uh, well, our key or uh, core product that I really love, oops, sorry. Key or core product that I really love, all right? And this is the, the, the backbone of our product, which is the Enviro cloth, right? It comes in five colors. The Enviro cloth is basically our powerhouse product, right? It is the godfather 
or the uh, head poncho, the big, the big, uh, well, the Rolls Royce of our cloth. It is basically uh, the most absorbent. It contains the most microfiber and is uh, able to literally using it dry. You use it to dust, uh, lift dust. I mean, if you use it wet, right, it literally can clean uh, practically mostly anything on the surface. Right, you're talking about like marker pen stains, uh, pencil marks, oil grease. Um, people have asked me why don't I use the Enviro cloth in the kitchen? Well, the thing is this: the kitchen cloth is a very light weave. It's very light. It's very easy to use, and it's very easy to wash off, especially if you use it to clean oily stuff. Right? With the Enviro cloth, it cleans oily stuff very well as well. But the only issue is it is a lot harder to remove the oil because the microfibers are so concentrated. It really traps all the oil in it, and you really need to use a bit of a warm water to to really clean it with our UPP detergent. All right. Another product that I really like also is our window cloth. So this is the one that is just below the Enviro cloth. It comes in two colors, right? As you can see, the window cloth is amazing because by by when you have the window cloth, you literally do not need a window spray or cleaner anymore. Right? With just a bit of water, it literally cleans and polishes and and wow. I mean, any surface that can shine. I'm talking about not just windows and glass mirrors. I'm talking about my marble table. I use it for yeah, for my marble dining table. I also use it for some of my silverware. So this is amazing, right? And uh, last but not least, one of my favorite products, all right? This one is, uh, of course, our legendary mop system. Nothing can, can beat our legendary mop system because it is something that I have, uh, I use a lot because honestly, the floor is the surface of the home that we use the most, that we have contact with the most. So imagine, not having to use a floor cleaning chemical anymore. Something that is so beneficial to me because I've got kids who just want to lick everything, lick the mirror, lick the floor and whatever. They, they throw food on the floor, they pick it up and they put it in their mouths, right? So just, uh, this is our Super Trio mop system that comes with a rubber brush. And this is the telescopic mop handle that you see on the, on the, blue, on the right hand side, the blue long stick. Uh, the blue color, uh, the, the blue pad that is called our wet mop pad, you use it wet and it's literally like uh, any other uh, one of our microfibers, but just built specifically for the floor. Literally lifts up all the dirt, all the oil. I practically use this on a daily basis, all right, to clean up after dinner, uh, after my kids mess. Um, the mop pad in the middle, the uh, orangey, uh, goldish looking one, that is our dry mop pad. You you can use this to, rep to re literally replace your broom your sweep or your vacuum cleaner, right? Amazing, amazing thing. And then the last but not least is the uh, green one with the blue color wigglies or squigglies as my son call it. This is our tile mop pad, right? You can use this in the toilet. Any surface that is tiled that has a rough surface, you can pretty much use this one because it has a scrubby part. It's really good for cleaning your bathroom floors. And imagine just, uh, you know, after you shower, you got a bit of soap scum, you can just rub it off with that so amazing and so easy right uh, so these are my top picks for general areas and as i mentioned before if i go back to the previous slide right uh i'm no, sorry uh the enviro scrub for my kitchen pick so that's something that i also uh, like to use because you can use it for the toilet you can use it for most surfaces it is literally just an enviro uh cloth with the scrubby part which also has a bit of the enviro cloth as well in it so just an amazing Amazing, amazing product. All right, next one. Whoops. Oh, sorry about that. Censored, censored. Okay, all right. So ne next, uh, next product that I like, right? Um, I want to talk about. So Norwex doesn't only just uh, re drastically reduce the chemicals you use to clean your home. We also drastically reduce the chemicals you use to clean. The most important part of your life, which is your face, your body, yourself. So if you look here on my left, this is one of my favorite. This is the uh, body scrub mitt. It has a scrubby side and the other side is sort of like a, very similar to the uh, body cloth, right? And this is the back scrubber. So I use these two to clean my body and my face and uh, I exfoliate once or twice a week. I have literally, apart from just shampoo on my hair, I have not used uh, body soap since uh, since I got this, I think around about May, May June, right? I took the I took the leap and I tried it for 30 days and I've been doing it ever since until today. So these two are my must have.
exams, when I go travel before MCO kick in, I would bring these along uh, with me. So when I go to the hotels, I don't even use a soap. I just use this to clean. And, and it's, it, it gives the best clean because it literally scrubs dirt from your body. And of course, we have our bath towels and our kids plush towels. These are amazing. One thing is all of these have backlog, right? So the problem, uh, the problem that I faced previously in the past was every time, because I, I am a bit OCD, so I, I shower at least two to four times a day. All right, without fail, two to four times a day, I work out, I shower, I, I, I feel a bit, I, I come back from home, I shower. And what happens is my towel, my old towels get so wet that within two or three days, it just stinks, right? But smell and everything. So uh, it was just every two days we had to launder and launder the towels. And honestly, with three kids, um, it was just massive laundering happening, right? With, with the towels and everything. So with, with, the, with, our, with the Norwex bath towels and also the kids towel range, we literally wash our towels maybe once or once a week or sometimes once every two weeks. So there that, that literally is no smell because uh, once you use it and it's wet, the backlog functions when, it, when it's wet, right? So whatever uh, skin, dead skin cells that it has removed from your body or whatever BO that, ha that it has removed and has gone to the towel, the backlog actually activates and self purifies in that 24 hour period so you don't have smells. And these, so you saw just now my little unicorn uh, pet to dry, and these are the larger hand towels as well. Same thing as well, they're super plush, and they also, um, they also uh, have back pocket in them. So we don't replace this. I think the last time I, 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 I pretty much clean them once, once a month or once every three weeks, right? So look at that, amazingly plush. I hope you can see it in the camera. So amazingly plush, right? So just, a product that I really love, and my, my kids really love it as well because it's, it's such a lovely, cute little thing. All right, so that is uh, my picks for face and body. Uh, let's see what's next on the slide. So, consumables. So these are uh, the products that I use on pretty much a regular basis, right? Over here, you've got our UPP. This is our detergent, and it's not just a detergent, right? Uh, not only do I use this to wash our Norwex cloth, I use this to launder all of our laundry, our clothes, uh, everything, every our bed sheets, everything, right? It is so safe. I even use this to clean my baby clothes as well. So no issues. My, my children have not had a single skin irritation or itch. It has no fragrance, right? It literally contains the most minimum amount of products, uh, ingredients, and it doesn't have uh, phosphates, it doesn't have anything toxic in it. Right, so nothing, no optic brighteners, uh, no fragrances, no funny stuff, right? And it's so concentrated. Uh, this is a picture of a one kilogram UPP pack. So when I first started it, I had a 500 gram UPP pack and that lasted me for one month. So you can imagine a little bit goes a really long way. I don't even use the scoop inside anymore. I literally use my kids milk powder scoop because it's so concentrated that a little bit is actually enough. It goes a really long way. So when people tell me that our UPP is expensive, you know, 60 over ring, 60 plus for a half a kg pack or uh, slightly over 100 plus for a one kg pack, I don't believe it's expensive because I use it to clean everything. I, ev I even use, um, I even dilute it in water and put it in a spray bottle and I've used it to replace all my chemical sprays. So I don't use it to spray much. I use it to spray my toilets right, uh, when I clean it, because I want to give it a bit of a scrub. I even um, use it to clean my baby seats, you know, the baby chairs. So when it gets very oily and uh, it's not sufficient to just use a kitchen towel to, to, to wipe it down, I will spray this, leave it on for like uh, 30 seconds to a minute and literally just, you know, wash it in the uh, shower with a bit of warm water and the oil just comes out. I don't even need to scrub it, nothing, and just leave it to dry. So this UPP detergent comes with many users, right? Uh, ask, ask myself, ask the consultant I invited you here. I'm sure they'll be able to teach you how to more than 20 or 40 users just for this UPP detergent. So it's not just, it's not merely just a laundry detergent. Another item that I really like is, a, of course, the dishwashing liquid. This one over here. Um, we have started using our dishwasher again because we don't have a helper anymore. And when I clear my dishes with the dishcloth to remove the remnants and the debris and a little bit of the grease and oil, I literally squeeze a little bit of this into my dishwasher. I mean, this is how I do it. And so far it's worked. I squeeze just a small dab into the pot where you put that 
dishwashing ball, right? Uh, just just a, a squeeze just enough, right? Close it and literally just let it run on a, on a, on a warm water cycle, right? Half an hour and my, my plates, my glassware, everything is clean and there is no watermark, no funny residue, no bubbles, nothing. So this is something that I really love and enjoy and I really love using this as well. And of course, uh, with, with the dishcloth uh, to replace my sponge, if sometimes I need to just clean something by hand. I just squeeze a bit of this on my dishcloth and it's good to go. Cleans, grease, oil, dirt perfectly and easily as well. You don't need to use much as well, like literally a pea size amount, right? So enzyme spray. So I've got the uh, odor eliminator spray and I've also got the uh, mattress cleaner spray. So why I love these two and these are, I, 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 I pretty much use a bottle each every month because I, I, go, I go on a spraying spree, right? Maybe because I'm a bit more OCD. Odor eliminator is amazing because it really eliminates odors uh, for people who smoke at home or smoke in cars. A few sprays of this, it really eliminates odor. It doesn't cover the odor by 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 putting on the fragrance it actually has enzymes that are bacterial spores that actually target lock and eat the cause and it searches for the cause of the odor eats it and kills it right literally like crush kill and destroy right and the mattress uh, cleaner i use this to freshen up uh, my kids toys my pillows my bed sheets right i don't i don't need to wash my bed sheets every week anymore i literally just wash it once a month so it has saved me so much time because this is also another enzyme and the enzyme that living cell it actually uh, uh, um, will clear up all the organic matter that you leave in your bed because when you sleep, you perspire, you drool, you know, there's saliva, you know, maybe if you've got kids, there's uh, urine, there's, there's tears, there's milk, powder, milk stains and so on and so forth. You never know what lives in your bed or what sleeps with you at night. So this mattress cleaner, you know, does the trick for me and I just really love it. And then, of course, our sold-out product. This should be in, uh, hopefully, in February or sometime soon. Or if you want to buy the Safe Haven set, it's still in there. We, uh, the company is just not selling it as an individual thing at the moment. Our infamous cleaning paste. So the cleaning paste is, okay, I'm going to turn the camera on again. The cleaning paste is literally like this, right? So that's our cleaning paste. Look at that. It's literally just marble powder with lime and a bit of soap, uh, natural soap. So this one, if you use an EnviroCloth to try to scrub off pencil marks or marker pens on surfaces, it, it's, it's effective, it works. But sometimes maybe the stains are too, a bit too much, a bit too hard to rub off and the cleaning paste is literally like an extra elbow grease for you to, to clean. All right, so that is my uh, top four picks for consumables. And, uh, you know, picture says it all, why I, why I use no uh, why I'm also something in this business, you know, it really, it's really just for my family, for my loved ones. Um, I want them to be healthy. I want them to, um, you know, not be burdened with toxicity in their bodies. I just want my home to be a safe haven. And I hope that, you know, you will join our journey and our, our mission to make your home a safe haven, right? If you have no loved ones, even for yourself, for your pets, whoever it is, right? whatever you need to do. Another reason is really, um, you know, to, we know that the environment is in crisis and we know that plastic waste is really, really huge, right? So did you know that we, are, we have a recycle, uh, recyclable range, you know, ask a consultant or ask myself in the catalog. So our EnviroCloth, we have a few EnviroCloths that are uh, made from recyclable material. It still feels the same, it still looks the same and it's still the same efficiency. Just that, just that we have found the technology to use and reuse recyclable plastic bottles, right? So imagine when you buy a recycled Norwex EnviroCloth, that is literally two 500 mil plastic bottles that would have otherwise been thrown into the ocean. So can you imagine, so can you imagine the, uh, you know what, not only are you creating a safe haven for your home, you're also, you know, doing your bit for the environment as well, no matter how small or how little it is, but we're doing our part for our home and our earth. So these are my main reasons as well. And uh, hope you enjoyed my presentation, right? I really thank you guys for tuning in. I, again, I promise all of you, I'm keeping it short and sweet. It's not gonna be a one or two hour session and all that. So, all right, let me just uh, shut off my screen sharing so you can see my face. Okay, so, 
now what I would like to do is, uh, you know, open it up to uh, Q&A. So if anyone wants to ask me anything, you can type it out. Uh, you know, no issues at all. Okay, uh, we have one, we have one, uh, oh, we have a few questions. Okay, how do you clean and dry your wet mop? Okay, that is a very good question, Norina. Okay, so let me explain to you guys, right? So all of my products, right, every single Norwex cloth, mop pad, uh, pad to dry, whatever it is, you can actually clean it with the washing machine. And how best to clean it? UPP, this is our detergent. Why do I recommend this detergent? I mean, I am not a detergent expert, so I cannot recommend any other brands, but this has been tested uh, again and again, specifically designed for Norwex. It even has our logo, <laughs> the company logo, right? So this does not have any fillers, does not contain any such, uh, any funny things that will clog up your microfiber and the backlog. So if you use this, right, and you put it into your washing machine, maximum 60 degrees Celsius, right? All our cloths can be cleaned, maximum 60 degrees Celsius, unless it is a dish mat, a uh, pillowcase, or the Norwex bed sheet, those are 40 degrees Celsius maximum, right? If you do that once a month, your cloths will come up clean and fresh. Let me show you my my first Norwex product that I got, right? Now, this, was, this was even before I started being a consultant, so my wife bought this, I think roughly about, uh, February, February, so it's almost a year, February last year. Look at that. Sorry, uh, it's a bit wet. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Look at that. We've been using this day in, day out. This is a kitchen cloth, right? Look at, can you see how, of course, it's got a bit of wear and tear, right? A bit of wear and tear here. But look at, look at how, how, how amazing this got. I mean, Real clean does not smell like anything, it just smells like water, right? So amazing. And and you notice that our cloths are easy to use. They even come with labeling. So you won't be confused which one is a kitchen cloth, which one is a, 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 a you know, a enviro cloth that you use to clean for your uh, daily general cleaning and all that. You know, even the body ones, like see, I've got this, uh, this is my <laughs> body mitt and look at that. It says body, right? So there's no way for you to sort of uh, mess it up, right? So what I normally do is uh, I've got three kids, no helper now, and my wife and I, we run several side hustles, several businesses. So we want to find the smartest, fastest, and best way to clean our home. So what we do every uh, once we clean up everything, every night, we put all of our Norwex into the washing machine, hand wash function, and just, a, just, a, just like a small, tiny little scoop, of UPP, just to give it that, that that quick clean every day, hand wash function, because it's a quick one, right? And then once a month, or unless we do a very heavy duty, greasy cleaning that really needs a proper clean, then what I do is I would, same thing, chuck everything into the washing machine, UPP, 60 degrees Celsius, synthetic, because this is synthetic, right? It's a synthetic, uh, uh, it's made of synthetic polyester and polyamide. And then I just give it an intensive uh, uh, a rinse. Right? For those who have the microfiber laundry booster, you can put that in as well. So you can do it once a month. And I guarantee you, your cloth, I mean, our cloths have a warranty of two years. So that is literally telling you that used properly with the proper care and maintenance, your cloth will last minimum two years. Right? That's, that's how it is. And can you imagine the amount of money that you save? Because just by using this and water, this cleans my kitchen. Right, I'm talking about my stove, uh, my oven, my microwave, my basin, my dining table, my baby chair, all with one cloth, right? I can literally clean and mop everything in 20 minutes. Right? I've done videos on that. Ask me, I can send it to you, no issues. So that's how I clean it. And of course, um, people, I, I don't put it in the dryer after I'm done. Not because you can't, you can put our Norwich products in the dryer. They are dryer friendly, but try to use the delicate or low heat setting, right? Because anything 60 degrees and above, it will burn the microfibers. So what I do is, uh, I once once it comes up from this from the washing machine and does a spin cycle, it's a bit damp, I just, ha I just hang it indoors. I don't even hang it in the sun because UV, UV rays will also destroy the cloth, right? And don't think that because you're hanging it outdoors but under the shade that the UV doesn't get it, the UV will get to it, right? UV is invisible, you can't see it. Doesn't mean that the sun doesn't shine it, that it doesn't affect it. So what I do is I just hang it indoors, right? 
And why I do that is because when it is damp, when it is wet, the backlog will function, it will activate, and it will start to you know, remove and kill any bacteria, mildew, or any odor causing um, funny stuff organisms as it dries up. So every morning when I wake up, all my claws are fresh because the washing machine, the UPP has cleaned up, uh, removed all the dirt and grime and, and, and the grease, and the backlog has uh, you know, continued to purify the cloth itself overnight within the 24 hour period. So amazing stuff. All right. Another question by Lisa. Can we spray the mattress cleaner directly on the bed sheets? Yes, that's what I do actually. I mean, um, right after I use this to, you know, brush off the uh, the bedding and, you know, hit my pillows around for the dust to sort of dissipate and everything, I put everything down and I just do a spray. You don't need to uh, do a saturated spray. You just spray just enough for the the, you know, the, the, the the liquid to fall and cover the mattress just nicely because these are living organisms. They will move around and destroy uh, things that you don't want in your bed, right? And it's safe, it's safe. It's, you know, I, I, my kids have, I spray on my kids' toys as well, the soft toys, all right? And uh, they put it in their mouth, there's no issue because the enzyme, you need to understand the enzyme is very specific. It only targets and it will only eat or kill and affect only the item that is supposed to eat. So if it only, so let's say for example, if uh, enzyme is supposed to target fecal matter, urine, and uh, dead skin cells, that's all it will do. It will not do anything to your face or your eyes or your lining inside. Of course, we don't recommend you drinking the enzyme for fun, right? It's not a health enzyme drink. All right. Another question by Nur Zailin. Can the body scrub mitt and back shoulder used together with any body soap? No. I don't recommend doing that because you need to understand that soap has suds and it can clog up the microfiber, but try it with just water. I guarantee you, you will feel a, a much cleaner clean than actually using soap. Because soap removes whatever that's here. But can you imagine all the, you know, when you go out and try doing this, right? You will have like uh, dead skin cells, but look at that. I don't have any, right? There's nothing. I used to rub my back and everything. I would, would have all this, what you call dead skins or what we call like uh, in Chinese old, uh, low like old mud, right? It looks like a bit funny, funny stuff. I don't, I don't have that anymore. So that is the amazing thing because again, mechanical cleaning, right? Not chemical cleaning. Okay, Nani, have you ch ever changed your spirit sponge so far? No, I haven't changed my spirit sponge so far. Although it's not silver anymore, it's a bit more blackish because I really cook a lot of meat. I really do a lot of grilling and barbecuing. It looks a bit blackish. But I still chuck in the washing machine, clean, it comes out fine. It, the color is a bit funny, but it's still perfect, right? I mean, for me, it's, it's still good. All right, another question by Mazira. Do you immediately clean your kitchen cloth after wiping off oil? Okay, this is what I do, right? When you clean, I fold it. I fold it like this. So of course, this is dry. You've got to wet it first. Make sure it's wet thoroughly. Squeeze it so it's just nice and damp. If I want to clean oily surfaces, I use one, one surface to clean oil. So this, this surface has cleaned oil, right? Then what I do, I fold it. So the oil is here, fold it in, and then I continue wiping my table, right? And you've got two sides to use, right? And then don't forget, you can refold it and use the other side. The oil will not uh, go through the other side. It won't tumble to the other side of the cloth. So when you're wiping the table, the oil is not going to spill back onto the table. Right? Try it. It really works. So we, using this method, you have at least six to eight sides to clean the table. And I don't think you need that many sides. So what I normally do uh, when I clean my table, of course, first and foremost, when you clean the table, is you've got all the food scraps, all the debris, the biscuits, or, or the rice, or pieces of meat and stuff, and the oil. So when I clean it, and all the stuff is stuck, first thing I do is I go to the kitchen, under running water, I just do this. I rub the cloth in on itself under the running water just to remove all the food stuff, right? And I remember where the oil part is, hold it back, and then I continue cleaning my table. So literally very fast. I can clean a very dirty oily table in minutes. I don't need to uh, spray, wipe down, rinse the cloth, use another cloth to, to wipe again to ensure that there's no chemical residue. This does it quick and fast. All right. Uh, Marlene, UPP is pure magical fairy dust. Yes, yes. Some say it was it was made by fairies. Amazing. Uh, another question by Fadia. Uh, is dishwashing liquid really safe and suitable for eczema person? Okay. 
The dishwashing liquid itself, I don't have eczema, so I can't comment, but the, oh, I have dry hands due to, you know, due to sanitization, due to this COVID stuff and all that. So there were instances where I had sort of dry hands, I had cuts in my hands where I had open wounds. And when I used the dish washing liquid to wash, it didn't sting. So I'm not sure if that would work for eczema. But as far as I know with eczema skin, right, it's, it's, it's very, very sensitive. So, you know, if, if you do a spot test, if you feel it irritates you, I mean, it's best to wear gloves, right? Because at the end of the day, even our detergent would, would sting your hands as well because it's got the cleaning agents, right? Like the, even salt, salt that you eat, I'm sure it will sting your hands as well, right? If you have an open wound or eczema. So, um, yeah. Okay, another question by Mabel Young. How about after cleaning with my with UPB, my kitchen cloth still have some smell? Okay, so the question is this, how did you clean with the UPB? Because a lot of people use the UPB and they use a hand wash method. And what I find myself is sometimes with hand wash, unless you do very thoroughly, there might still be some oil and, and stuff stuck in there. And then furthermore, hand washing under normal temperature water even with the UPP, is a powerful degreaser, but there may still be oil stuck in it because you know why? While you're cleaning and removing the oil, the, water, the oil is in the water, it could stick back into the cloth, right? So if you come across this issue, it could be that the oil has clogged up the, the cloth, hasn't been removed, and that's why the backlog cannot function and clean the cloth the next day. So maybe give your cloth a deep cleanse. So a deep cleanse would be washing machine, UPP, 60 degrees Celsius water. So give it a try and see how you go. And of course, no, don't put it in dry immediately. After that, just hang dry indoors while it's wet and you know, let the backlog work as magic. Wow, many questions tonight. Okay, the, keep it coming, I love it. Another question by Melissa. Do you launder your clothes for body and face together with the kitchen in general? <laughs> okay, scientifically, uh, scientifically, you can mix all of it together and launder it together. It will come out clean. But for me, I don't know, maybe just mindset and mentality or OCD. I keep my general cleaning stuff, toilet cleaning stuff, and face and body separate. Just, just me, you know. I mean, you don't wash your, you you wouldn't wash your kids' school uniforms with uh, your, uh, with your mop, right? Or your, let's say, uh, your uh, kitchen towels or your floor mat. You know, you wouldn't do that, right? So for me personally, I I, I keep it separate. But scientifically, you can, yeah. But I keep it separate. All right, another question by by Kailin Ku. Where are the products from? Norwex is actually from Norway, right? But we have factories in China to, uh, 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 we have, uh, our production is based in China. A lot of people then ask, oh, you're paying so expensive for Norway products, but made in China. Well, let me tell you this. Your iPhone is made in China. The MacBook they're using, made in China, right? Made in China doesn't mean that it is of low quality because China's factories are just, number one, they are more productive and the cost is a lot lower. I mean, can you imagine if Norway actually made their products in Norway only, right? We wouldn't be buying a kitchen cloth for 49 ringgit before discount. We'd probably be buying it for 150 ringgit, right? It's just um, economies of scale. Right? So yeah, but the technology, everything all comes from Norway. Okay, uh, question by Nani Farmi. How good is a Spiri sponge compared to Spiri Net? Okay, both are different things. The Spiri Net is that mesh steel ball. Personal opinion, and this is just personal, personal opinion, um, probably Norwex HQ will kill me for this. I feel that the, the Norwex Spiri Net is no different from any, no, uh, from any uh, uh, metal mesh that you buy outside. It's just a metal mesh, right? And the difference between um, the Spiri Net and the Spiri Sponge is the Spiri Sponge comes like in a sponge. It's a silver thing. It's very, very scrubby, but it is safe for most non-stick surfaces. But you cannot use a Spiri Net on a non-stick, yeah? Because that would scrub it off because it's, it's, a, it's a steel mesh, right? So that's the, that's the difference. And I, 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 stop, uh, I, I don't use a Spiri Net, so I, I only use a Spiri Sponge. Uh, and it works well for me. But of course, if you really need scrubbing power, then you might have to use a Spiri Net, lah, right? Okay, another question by Farah. Do we need to scrub the cloths once it's soaked with the UPP or a rinse will do? Uh, what do you mean by scrub the cloth once it's soaked with the UPP? Uh, do you mean by cleaning the, uh, like after you've wiped the table, you want to clean the cloth itself? Um, actually, I don't really soak it with UPP. I 
I don't know, I don't have time. So I just chuck everything in the washing machine and do the hand wash function. My hand wash function cleans my cloths in like, it's like a 15, 20 minute cycle, including the spin, very fast. And my cloths all come up clean. Unless it's very, very greasy. Like let's say I, I cook lamb shoulder and it's super oily greasy and my cloths are all like covered in literally oil that you can see and it's solidified there. Then I will do the, the 60 degrees deep cleanse. But I, or maybe you can do a pre-soak as well. Because here's the thing, uh, if your cloths are very soiled, you can soak it in 60 degree water with UPP, but you need to only soak it for a few minutes because once the water get the, 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 the 60 degree water will remove, will open up the microfibers and remove the oil. But the moment the water cools down, the oil will go back into the microfiber. You understand that? So don't soak it for 30 minutes or, 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 or 24 hours. It doesn't work that way, right? Soak it for a few minutes, take it off, chuck it into the washing machine or give it a very good hand wash. So uh, good rinse. Oh, more questions. All right, question by Awin Azwiza. Let's say the kitchen cloth is oily. Can just direct dump into the washing machine with other cloth like, yes, yes, that's what I do, right? But of course, if it is super, super oily, right? Um, I would just do a deep cleanse. So together with the environment cloth, just do a deep cleanse. Because what I find that if it's super oily, and I, I did this uh, mistake once, trial and error, right? So I, I, I cooked a very big carnivorous meal for my family. And I sacrificed two kitchen uh, two kitchen cloths, super oily. You can see the white color fat on it because it was so oily. And what I did was I just chuck it in and I did a, a normal hand wash function on my washing machine. And what happened was it cleaned most of it, but I could feel like my Enviro cloth was very oily. So what happened was the Enviro cloth literally sucked all the oil out from it. So in the end, I had to do a deep cleanse again, 60 degrees. Because it, but it was because this was so soiled, it affected all the, the rest of the laundry. So that's what I did there. Yeah? All right, any other questions? Okay, Wani, the mattress spray is suitable for all types of mattresses. Okay, the mattress spray contains the enzyme, a living organism, it is slightly acidic, so it is not too suitable for foam or latex. But if you have a bed sheet on top, I just do a very quick spray on the bed sheet itself, and it shouldn't uh, you know, go all the way down to the foam or rubber or latex. So that's what I do, because I, I have foam and uh, uh, latex mattresses as well. So far, I always spray on the bed sheet. I have not had any issues with my, my mattress itself. I don't spray directly onto the mattress. All right, another question by Amelina. Can dishwashing liquid use together with microfiber like Enviro cloth or kitchen cloth? The microfiber will be okay. Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, uh, if let's say your Enviro cloth, you want to give it a quick uh, hand wash and you just got a dishwashing liquid, then yeah, no issues because the dishwashing liquid is a very good decreaser as well. So yes, you can definitely use it. No issues at all. Ophelia, what cloth would you recommend to musicians? They can't really use damn cloth to clean their musical instruments such as electrical, electric guitar, keyboards, drum sets, etc. Okay, what I would recommend them, uh, either the window cloth or the optic scarf, because these two are pretty good, right? Uh, window cloth is very good for polishing. If they want something that they can use to sort of uh, uh, dust off um, dust off their, their, their equipment easily, hey, dusting it, right? Dust it off. Polish it with a window cloth. Yeah, my window cloth is a bit different color because this was a limited edition party gift, right? So, but you can see the weave is super smooth. So, dusting and polishing, and you can use them dry, no issues at all. Okay, Marlene, do you separate clean cloths and things like towels when chucking in the machine? Yeah, so as I mentioned just now, uh, it is up to you. But if you have very soiled products, it's good to either wash it separately or just do a deep cleanse altogether with the cloths. Question by Amir, spiry sponge. Yes, I chuck it in the washing machine. It can be washed in the washing machine. I just put it like with any other microfiber. Okay, Marlene has another question. How do you get static to work on the dust mitt? Dusting mitt, dry and viral cloth, viral wand, dry mop pad. How do you create static? Simple, when it's dry, just rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, and it will have static already. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it. That's it. And then it's good to use. Another question by Darlene. Should we not use soap with our bath, bath cloths? Bath, bath cloths. Okay. Uh, I think the question is, do we use soap with our bath cloth? Uh, you may talk about face and body cloth. No, I don't use soap. I just use water because it will clean your body thoroughly. So you just have to get your mind around that no using soap and no fragrance. It really cleans your body. I got no BO so far. So yeah, not too bad. 
Another question by Lara Lewis. Can I use other dishwashing liquid with our Enviro Scrub dishcloth or Enviro sponges? I am no expert. I myself do not. And so far, look at the, the, the condition of my, my product. Still tip top. Still tip top. So I only use normal dishwashing liquid because it doesn't contain any studs of scum. Uh, nothing to clog up the microfibers. So no, I don't use any other. I can't recommend anything else uh, because I, I don't know. So uh, it's up to you. Ophelia, can we use UPP solution to clean inside the oven and micro? Yes, I mean, you can dilute the UPP into a spray bottle with water, spray a little bit, let it sit for a while, and then just scrub it off with a, uh, either a spirit sponge, uh, you know, just to remove any burnt, burnt uh, food remnants in it, and then just wipe it off with a damp enviro cloth, and the enviro cloth will pretty much wipe, uh, remove all the UPP from the microwave. It's safe. Another question, can the kitchen cloth replace dish cloth? Hmm... Some people I know have used the kitchen cloth like a sponge. Yes, you can, but the difference is this, right? I find that this one is so much better because, because of the way it's like a net. When you put your dishwashing liquid in, it really, really foams it up, right? And, it, and because it's also scrubby enough, it, it really helps with, like, with ease, right? I just crunch it up like a loofah and I just scrub it. It's so easy with my dishes, like no joke. I find it a bit more efficient and it doesn't carry a lot of water, unlike the kitchen cloth. So this one gets so wet, it's so hard to clean. This one remains uh, sort of damp-ish dry because all the water, it doesn't absorb the water. So that's just my, my personal experience. Huh? Okay, any more questions? Can you share the best way to wash the bath towel? Uh, washing machine and UPP. <laughs> washing machine and UPP, that's it. That's all you need. Uh, Lisa, what about those mop pads? So thick and we don't need to hang it under the dry, the, under the sun? No, nope, I don't hang it under the sun. Um, the, only, uh, the, the only thing that I do put in the dryer is this the dry mop pad. Why? Because when I put this in the dryer, I mean, this is the thickest one. It's very hard to dry, right? It takes about one and a half days to dry if it's very wet, unless you squeeze it out properly. Uh, but it does dry. But when you put this in a dryer, when it comes out, it is fully... Uh, statically charged amazing you just literally use it on the go so i, I do put this in a dryer a uh, delicate setting but uh in terms of my mop pad and my towel mop pad no i literally hang it and it, it dries it dries in less than 24 hours uh, provided you squeeze it well because my i put it on the uh, on a high spin so it spins out most of the water and but I, i'm not too bothered because with my wet mop pad see it's still a bit damp after cleaning right with my wet mop pad i i have to use it wet anyway so if, even if it stays wet, I'm totally fine with it because it has the backlog, right? It will self-purify as as it uh, as it goes. All right, another question by Noor Hasnida. How do you use dishcloth? Is it with water only or dishwashing liquid? Because I think it can remove oil, but not the smell of only water. Okay, um, when it comes to light cleaning, porcelain, uh, steel pots, light cleaning, I find that even with just water, it really cleans it uh, really easily. But when you're washing a lot of dishes with oil and everything, I just put you know, like this much pea size amount of dishwashing liquid and it's all good to go, right? I foam it up and, and it will clean everything, right? So, so that's what I do. Uh, that's how I use my dishcloth. Okay, Mabel, Norris Cloth has two-year warranty and when and in what condition to claim this warranty? Okay, so Mabel, I know that you're a consultant, right? We have a warranty link, check that out. But for, uh, for customers and potential recruits, let me tell you, um, most of our cloths have a two-year warranty. Uh, it does not cover, of course, wear and tear. With them, they, it's fair wear and tear. Uh, but if your cloths, let's say, for example, you've done all the proper care and maintenance, you don't use it for commercial usage, you use it at home. But let's say, for example, you still have an issue after you clean your kitchen cloth with the UPP and you dry it accordingly, basically 100% following our care, our care card, and it still has a funny smell, okay, it could be a defect. Then you can, you know, you can choose to uh, contact the consultant that you got it from, and they will help you with a with an exchange, right? So they'll bring the cloth back and then uh, exchange it, do an exchange for you. So that's what the warranty is all about. Okay, another question by Joanne. Is the dishcloth more scratchy and harsh compared to the spray sponge for nonstick ceramic? Actually, the dishcloth is not as harsh as the spray sponge. But so far, both of them I've used on my nonstick. No issue, no, it doesn't tear anything up. But when I have very burnt uh, grease and uh, food on my cast iron after I make a stick with high fire, uh, I find that the spiry sponge is more useful than, it has more scrubbing power than the dishcloth. So I hope that answers your question. 
Question by Pam. Why does my Enviro become really hard after it's washing and dry? Okay. Good question. It becomes, you see, it, it depends, right? For me, yeah, when, you, when, it, when it becomes dry and you don't use it for an extended period of time, you've got to understand these microfibers will, 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 will go to sleep. Right? They get very, very dry. So don't worry, don't fret. Uh, you just put it under running water, wet it out a bit, and, and, and Bob's your uncle, it's, 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 it will become nice and fluffy again. Look, look at that. Nice and fluffy again. Okay, or what I what I realize is if you uh, dry under the sun or extreme heat in the dryer, then yes, it will burn the microfiber. So uh, that's one thing as well. And what I find as well, some people don't use UPP. They use a different detergent to clean the Norwex microfiber. It may contain uh, certain chemicals that can also burn or harm the microfiber. And then it comes out just like, like a crisp, uh, dry, dead cloth, you know, like all your other normal... Uh, cloth and towels. So um, that's that's that. Can the kitchen cloth just can the kitchen cloth can just clean with the nose uh, dishwashing liquid? Yeah you can you can clean it with dishwashing liquid. Yes. All right for Hana after wiping salmon with counter cloth and soaking the cloths after usage I notice my cloth still has that fishy smell. Even after throwing a washing machine still smells fishy. Anything else can be done to remove the smell. So um, when you clean stuff like salmon it has a lot of oil right uh, 60 degrees UPP. I think that works for me. 60 degrees UPP and I put it on a full cycle, like a synthetic cycle. Uh, and I find that the smell, no smell. Because uh, if you talk about salmon, we eat a lot of salmon. We eat a lot of salmon, we eat a lot of beef, we eat a lot of uh, uh, you know, meats that have smells, right? And so far, no issues. So yeah, that's that. I win. The body cloth is so amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I really love it. I, I, can't, I can't use anything else. Uh, Maureen has a question. How do you wash the pet towel and mitts? Same as the yes, same as the others. Uh, hand wash, check in the washing machine. But I always recommend UPP. UPP. All right. So that's that's me. Okay, Azmia Ayo. Can we use the dishcloth with other brand cleaning detergent? I don't know. I can't recommend. I'm not an expert. So far, all my products, I've only used UPP. And I've never had any issue or complaints in terms of smell, uh, how efficient it is for next use. I've not had any issue with it. So yeah, only UPP for me. <laughs> okay, Sazwan, how long does the how long can the backlog last? Um, I don't know. Um, we have a two-year warranty, so I would say minimum two years. But we have had consultants in America and Canada because uh, Norwex is quite new to Malaysia. We only came in April last year. No, sorry, April 2019. Yeah, April 2019. Sorry, I'm still in 2020. April 2019. And um, you know, that's, that's almost two years now. Uh, so far, no one has any uh, complaints with their backlog. But we have had uh, testimonies of consultants or customers from America and Canada. They have used the same Enviro cloth for 10 to 15 years and it still works. The cloth still has no smell. So, well, that's, uh, I hope it does last that long, uh, you know? <laughs> so that means your, your product, the value takes you a very long way. Okay, another question by Escanita. What's your take on Enviro Sponge? And how does it compare to Spiri Sponge? Mm. I think they're both very different products, right? The Enviro Sponge has a scrubby side and the Enviro side. So you can use it to clean like a normal sponge. The Spiri Sponge I find is li really more for scrubby. Scrub as for, for scrubbing, right? Scrub off uh, things that are hard to come out. So I, I use it like like in place of a spiri net or a steel mesh ball. So that's my take. Nor Amalina, can we use dryer for all cloth? Yes. I recommend a low heat or delicate setting. Then you can use it for all, even our bed sheets, pillow cases, but not the dish mat. Reason why dish mat cannot use a dryer because the shape will it will make the shape go funny, right? So if you have a dish mat, just hang dry will be, will be best. All right, so I, oh, another question. Siti Nadira Yako, all noise products have warranty? Yes, yes. So anywhere ranging from a 60 day, gar uh, 60 day guarantee to a one year to a two year warranty. So if you're not sure, if you are not a consultant, ask the consultant if they can send you the warranty link and you can read all about it there. Another question by No Sharonian. Can I wash using the top load washing machine because only front load hot water? Yeah, of course you can use a top load washing machine. Um, if you don't have the hot water setting 
uh, maybe you can pour hot water inside. I don't know how, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, whatever works for you, right? Because really, really, uh, when it's very heavily soiled, especially for oil and grease and fat, I find that hot water works up to 60 degrees, yeah, up to 60 degrees. All right, so I think I've answered all the questions. Oh, it's already 9.30, I've been answering so many questions. All right, so um, I think that's it for the session tonight. I thank you all for coming in. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it thoroughly. And uh, look, if you guys have any questions, you can ask me or the consultant who has brought you in today. So uh, I hope you join us and, um, you know, shop Norlex. So thank you for joining and goodbye, everyone. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.